Death is a part of life just like birth is. Benjamin was diagnosed with neuroblastoma two weeks before his due date. Heather was diagnosed with neuroacanthocytosis. It'll be three years in February. A year before that, my daughter Autumn had died. I was diagnosed in October with um, gastroesophageal cancer. My wife was diagnosed with a, a brain tumor about 13 years ago. I didn't know Autumn was going to die when she did, and I wish so much that I had kept better records, taken pictures, done things with her, but it happened so fast that, you know, you don't think of those things. After my husband and I experienced the loss of a baby 28 years ago that was stillborn that we never got a photo of, I became passionately involved with an organization that provides that kind of photography for babies or infants. Then I began to realize that there wasn't a mechanism in place for older people. I really wanted my family to have pictures. Um, hopefully I'll be around, but if not I want you know, my child, my four-year-old, to have pictures of her family when when it was intact and full, um, and I also wanted to do that before the vanity in me, I guess, before I lost my hair. When patients are given a diagnosis that's either a terminal illness or something that's threatening their life and is going to make them sick, they have enough to think about. I don't want them to have to think about how am I going to pay for a family picture or, how, or whether I would even have a family picture. I want to bring them the opportunity to have this time in their life documented totally free. Heather. The disease makes her so she can't sit still, hold still. She just has no power to do it. And after I called you and asked you to do it, I thought to myself, this is going to be a heck of a thing for anybody to do. Coming to these patients to photograph them is, it's an honor, it's a privilege to be invited into their home. When you pulled up on that Sunday and started getting all your stuff out, it, it was just like you just kind of took things over and made it happen and it went along so smooth and everybody seemed to participate that was supposed to participate and it just it just happened and you were out in and out in no time. They have enough to worry about at this place that I want to come in, I want it to be a relaxed atmosphere, I want to capture their personality and I can only do that by helping them to feel really relaxed and really comfortable and dealing with and addressing those issues of pain and discomfort and, and assuring them that I'm going to make them look their absolute best. It was the best thing I've ever done in my life. This is Anna Mae and this was our first granddaughter and, and um, it was her only grandchild that she was able to see and that was her goal to live to the point to not only see our kids can become married but that one last goal to have a grandchild and she got that and um, she loved it so and this was a dress that she had started for her and she wanted to have a picture with her and, and Anna with the dress on. And Everything with Benjamin has a different meaning since his diagnosis. Life is a gift and we're more aware of that and so the pictures that we have of Benjamin are treasures for us. Of course it's important to make sure that you know, accounts are lined up and this is lined up and that, you know, those, those more businessy kind of things are taken care of. But I think what has long lasting effect are going to be things like these pictures. This is something you can hold on to, but if you know that you're going to be losing somebody you love, you can't hold on to that forever. So do it. You'll be glad you did.